Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we are going to solve an SQL tricky question uh, asked in one of the product-based companies. So the question here is, uh, we have two tables, table A and table B. So table A has five records and table B has 10 records. And you might assume any record. I mean, you can take any record. Uh, record can be of any value, maybe uh, all same values or maybe different values. So the question here is, uh, as we have five in the table A and we have 10 in the table B, how many maximum number of records would be available in any of the joint condition? And how many minimum number of records would be available in any joint condition? So you have to decide what all records are present. I mean, you have to take as per your condition and then decide what all maximum condition and what was the maximum number of uh, output for uh, each of the join or what is the maximum output for any of the join and what is the minimum number of records present in any of the join. So to get it, I'll share my screen to get a better understanding. How does it look like and how can we solve it? So we have two tables, table A and table B. So as of now, the record count is something different so we'll match it and table a we have five records and table b we have 10 records delete the records and delete b suppose the tables are empty the condition given is we have uh, five records in table a so we would insert this five times five so we have five records so i purposefully taken five uh, once uh, so why, what is the reason? I'll help you. Uh, let's suppose insert 10 records in table B. I guess we inserted nine. Let me check. Yeah, we'll insert one more record. And the same goes with table B. I've also inserted one. So the question here is maximum number of records, records in any join condition so they have given a free uh, fall that you can take any record i mean you can take similar records you can take mismatching records so get uh, to get a better understanding why i have taken one one uh, i mean the same uh, in both the tables so if you consider a join here table a inner join table b on table a dot num equal to table b dot num so this could be a join condition so to better get a better understanding uh, whenever we have a similar records so let assume this one uh, the very first table the first record this one has 10 similar records so for every one record we have 10 similar records so if we are doing an inner join for these five records we have 5 into 10 50 records if you do in an inner join we have 50 records so the concept of cartesian product comes into picture uh, even though it look like uh, an inner join. So for every matching record, we have multiple, I mean, the similar records available in the table too. So it could be one into five uh, as we have five in first table and 10 in second table. So one into five for each record present in table A. So five into 10 would be 50 records. So let assume that the number of records are different here. Uh, we will try that condition also. What we will do is, so as there are similar records, um, the output would be 50. We can do a left join also. The count would again remiller, uh, remain similar. We can do a right join. The count would again remain similar. We can do full out join. The count would again remain similar because as we have similar records. So let assume that uh, let's take, I mean, why I have taken similar records, but uh, to get a better understanding, we get uh, 50 records in any of the join. But if we have a different records, we will delete the records in both the tables. The tables are empty. So assume that in first, we will insert one, two, three ones and two, as well as a two. Three ones and two twos. And in table B, I would insert 
six ones. So I'll insert two four times. Yep. So now we are again in the condition five records in table A and ten records in table B. So if you do a join condition here, any join, uh, first we'll try to check inner join. So for every matching record we have for two, we have four twos. So two into four. Uh, sorry, uh, one. So this would be one record. We have four. So four and another one record two four. So two times two and uh, four times two here. So four plus four, it would be eight. Four plus four, it would be eight plus for every one. We have six matching ones. So six plus six plus six as we have one tries. So this would be the count four plus four, six, uh, eight, eight plus six, 14 plus six, 20 plus 26. So if you do an inner join, we might have around 26 records. So if you, even if you add any record and delete any record in these two tables, the count would be less than 50. So the maximum number of records uh, to get a maximum number of records in both the tables. Uh, I mean, the join, uh, if you join both the tables, the records, you need to have a similar records in both the tables, either one or either two, whatever record you are trying to say, it should be similar in both the tables. So more the similarities, it would act like a Cartesian product and it would multiply the total product, I mean, total output. So five uh, records in table A and 10 records in table B, it would accumulate 50 records. So even if you try any other condition, you if you have four similar records in table one and nine similar records in table two with one, one record different, even then also the count would vary. It would be less than 50 only. If you have similar records in both the tables present the count is, even though the count might i mean the count might vary but the maximum records would be 50 so to answer this what is the maximum number of records in any join condition where we have five records in table a and uh, 10 records in table b the maximum output would be 50 we need to have similar records in both tables second question here is minimum number of records so minimum number of records in in any join condition so in any join condition let's suppose assume these two tables which we have with this uh, here we have six similar records and four uh, similar records one and two and here three plus two so here we would get around i mean in, as we have seen an inner join we would get around 26 different records. So minimum number of records is works when there are totally different records present in both the tables. So to get a better clarification, we would first delete the records here. So both the tables are empty. So we would insert some random random values in table A. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So minimum number of records in any join condition. Uh, so in table B also, we don't need to have, I mean, we won't need to have. So minimum records here would be, even if, I mean, if you consider both tables and we'll also insert certain values here, see the data. Yeah, we have five. We need five more records here. We have around 10 records. So if you join here, the components one, two, three, four, five and are matching. So if you join an inner join, yeah, you can see. So only matching records would come into picture. Whereas if you use a left join here, one, two, five, it would remain same. If you use a right join, six to 10 would come into picture matching records one to five and six to ten so six to ten would there isn't any matching so ten records would come into picture here and if you use a full outer join we have ten records uh, non-similar and similar records so even here also the minimum condition was we are getting five uh, if you use a right if you use a left join and inner join we were getting five records so how we were getting five records with the similar conditions available as we have one one two two three three four four five five similar conditions but what if the count totally varies there aren't any matching records so the question was asked that you might take any number of records it is up to you we might take any number of records but we want what is the maximum number of records present in any joint condition so maximum we got if we have all similar conditions all similar records available in both the tables we get 50 uh, in any joint so let's assume we want to check for minimum uh, 
uh, the as I mean, as I've given a difference that more the number of differences, more there won't be any similarities, the less number of uh, count would be available. So in table B, I would try, go on inserting 11 totally different records. There won't be any matching here. 15, if records are properly inserted. Yes. Uh, so we'll add 17. So purposefully, I have kept in a series uh, to get a better understanding. You can insert any uh, any value you want. So we have five and we have 10 table B and five in table A. So the condition here, if you if you join, if you create an inner join, there won't be any matching records. If you create a uh, left join, only non-matching records would come into picture. If you create a right join, only non-matching numbers would come into picture. Uh, so the, the non-matching from a right. And if you create a full outer join, it would be around 15 records, 11 and uh, sorry, 10 and five. Uh, non-matching records at both the sides, uh, five first towards the left and the 10 last towards the right. So here in case when we used an inner join, there are no matching records because totally different records are present. So the minimum condition here, the answer to minimum condition is zero. So when can we get a zero if there are totally non-matching records? So this was one of the tricky questions uh, asked in interviews, SQL interviews. So in most of the SQL interviews, when a, a candidate gets confused or a candidate is not much sure about joins, this question would come into picture that what is the maximum number of records you can get? Uh, they would give you certain count in both the tables and they'll leave it to you, up to you. You can take any records present in the table and what is the minimum minimum number of records present in any joint, you can take any number of records. So don't get confused away. More the matching number of records, would, more would be the uh, joint condition uh, output and there won't be any matching records, less would be the joint condition. So the minimum here is there are no matching records in any of the table, maybe table A and table B, whatever count they are trying to say. Uh, so as they, as they have given five and 10, you can take non-matching records in both the tables to get minimum number of records in inner join whereas in maximum you can take all similar records in both the tables to get the maximum value so they have mentioned 5 and 10 in both the tables so 5 into 10 50 yeah that's it for today